Hello, my fabulous reading friends. It's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. Are you ready for a story? Do you have a favorite blanket? One that's soft and warm and brings you comfort? Our favorite blankies can help us through even the worst days. But what about when our blankets have a rough day? Let's find out as we read Luca's Special Blanket, A Gift of Love from Grandma. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Luca's Special Blanket, A Gift of Love from Grandma Written by Denise Dennis Illustrated by Stella Hong Luca's grandma lives far away on a tiny farm where she has lots of special animals. There is a tiny three-legged dog who loves to play, a cow with only half a horn and no tail, and there is a cat who can't see. And best of all, there is her special sheep, whose wool has lots of colors. Luca loves visits from Gran Gran, who always wears a pink and purple jacket. She tells him all about her special animals. The sheep is his favorite. Luca is always sad when it's time for Grandma to go back to her farm. He stands with his mommy and waves as she walks away. She waves back at him and blows him a kiss. Mwah! Gran, Gran! He weeps. I know, honey, Mommy says. Gran Gran will be back as soon as she can. Grandma is sad to leave Luca, too. When she gets home, she finds that her house feels big and quiet. She decides to make Luca a special gift. She knits him a soft, warm blanket using wool from his favorite sheep. Grandma puts the blanket in a box, wraps the box up in tissue paper, and ties it with a bow. Then she walks to the post office and sends it by special delivery. One morning, the postman arrives with something for Luca, a parcel with a note which says, my dearest Luca, I made this blanket on my farm with wool from my sheep. When nights are cold, it will keep you warm. In each stitch is a special kiss for all the days I will miss. Love, Gran Gran. Luca loves his blanket. It smells like cinnamon and warmth and most of all his Gran Gran. He names it Blanky. Luca and Blanky become the best of friends. He takes Blanky everywhere. And together they get into lots of mischief. Sometimes they are superheroes. And sometimes Blanky is a kite. Blanky is also an excellent picnic blanket. And a wonderful magic carpet. But best of all, Luca loves to hold Blanky while he sleeps. With Blanky close, Luca has magical dreams of extraordinary animals and super cool machines. But one morning, while Luca and Blanky are playing hide and seek with Daddy, Blanky snags on the table. This is the beginning of a rough day for Blanky. At lunch, Blanky's corner gets dipped into Luca's soup. And then at dinner, Luca doesn't like his vegetables. Almost all the Brussels sprouts end up on Blanky. By bath time, Blanky is looking a little dingy. And after bath time, Blanky is a little wet too. So are Mommy and Daddy. By bedtime, Blanky is dingy, fuzzy, messy, and wet. But Luca doesn't care. Blanky goes everywhere. Time for bed, Blanky, he says. But Mommy doesn't let damp and dingy Blanky into Luca's bed. Instead, Blanky gets a special wash and is hung out to dry. 
The next day, he's given back to Luca nice and clean. Luca is pleased to have Blanky back, but something is wrong. He cuddles Blanky close to try to figure out what it could be. The grand grand smell is gone, he says sadly. The week after, Grandma comes for another visit. She has her special wool inside a basket and promptly sits down to repair Blanky's fuzzy bits. This makes Luca very happy, especially when Grand Grand makes him hot chocolate and her yummy cinnamon rolls. When Grand Grand leaves, Luca cuddles Blanky close. And Blanky smells just right. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.